All right, so I've been teaching myself Australia because I was playing Jules <laughs> and I kept like sending Perth on Adelaide against like Slovakians and then losing and I was like I should I should really learn my own country. Um and it's actually been really fun. I've I've um been getting I've learned some of the common matters and and um, I've been getting pre pretty decent scores. I'm still not an expert by any means, but I thought we could do some learning together. We'll play some rounds of No Moving Balanced Australia and just, I'll, I'll talk through my thought process. Hopefully you learn something, hopefully I learn something. I think it uh, should be fun. So we're looking at some hills. We've got wind turbines, which is very interesting. Lots of them. Um, and most importantly, we've got stoby poles. <laughs> so, beautiful clue for South Australia. Really, really excellent. Excellent clue. I have seen them in WA and Tassie, but for the most part, they're like, 98% South Australia. So it's a really, really excellent thing to know. Uh, if you don't know what they are, they're these like, they've got metal on the outside and concrete on the inside, and it kind of comes to like a point at the top. Um, they're pretty distinctive, especially compared to the rest of Australian poles. Uh, we've also got this dirt color, which is a lighter kind of, it, it's not white, but it's closer to white than to say like red or brown. Um, there is also some, is that dirt or is that just dead grass? I think it's just dead grass. So yeah, we've got very light colored soil. Rolling hills as well, which you do see in South Australia. I don't know where the wind turbines are. I would love to make like a map or something of where the wind turbines are because you do see them you see them in South Australia you see them a lot in Victoria as well um, and it would be very helpful for region guessing if you know whereabouts they are um, but I think I'm just gonna go kind of close to Adelaide we could be down here um, But the hills, I feel like, are more of an Adelaide thing, so I'm gonna go there. Yep. Very nice. We were just north of Barra by Mount Bryan. So, yeah, good to know. Wind turbines north of Adelaide. We do see them. Very nice. I'm on a six state streak. Because <laughs> I. Okay. Ignore, ignore the six state streak, because that's from a different country, actually. Uh. But yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd like a nice state streak, but that one's kind of cheaty, so we'll ignore that one for now. I'm sure it will reset at some point, maybe even here, because I don't really know what I'm looking at. Is that Magnolia? It could be. Okay, let's, let's, let's talk through what we're seeing here. So it's clearly urban, or suburban, more accurately. Lots of trees. Okay, we've got a kind of light colored red brick. We've got lots of palm, like lots of palms. And uh, oh, we got that one plant. That's very Queensland. What is this? Is this a, what is happening here? Is that a bird in a very strange position? What is, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just move on. We've got a green bus, oh. I did learn my buses and then immediately forgot my buses, so I don't know what the green bus means, but just based on the plants, I would be inclined to go Queensland. We've got a uh, kind of Queenslandy architecture. We've got like a porch and we got like void spaces under the house, like screens on the windows. Yeah, same here, void space under the house. You get these kind of elevated houses um, in Queensland quite often. So, mm, do we just go Brisbane?
because it looks it doesn't look crazy tropical so i think i just go like brisbane gold coast kind of area maybe further no i don't know i would say further north i don't know i'll just go like albany creek yeah just outside of brisbane riverview okay not too bad not too bad moving on okay this one might not be as straightforward as it seems because my immediate thought is the northern territory just because of the trees right like this kind of these kind of short scraggly trees very very northern territory we got hills as well but the uh, the dirt color is not like the dirt and the grass are a little weird and the road as well it could be wa is kind of the other main option mm. the thing about the nt is that it's so sparsely populated and covered that um you can actually <laughs> Eliminate it based on road angles sometimes. Yeah, I don't know. Margaret River doesn't really have any roads like this. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna click on, on this intersection. It's not there, but I'm hoping we're not too far away. Okay, it was actually down here on the B. 23 dart road yeah yeah it didn't yeah the grass was wrong for darwin i think further south would, would actually have been a much smarter guess but we're still very much in the in the right region so that's very nice okay we got a railway crossing Armadale? Huh. Rolling Stone Street. North Road. Armadale. Hmm. Ooh. If you have a better vision than me. Nah. I don't think I'm reading that sign. It's very unfortunate. Okay, we got a lot of poles happening here. Are any of them unique? I don't think any of them are unique. Which is a bit sad. Um, hi, do you have a plate? The whole back's blurred, so it's kind of hard to tell. I don't think that's a plate. Like short reflectors interesting here's the thing about short reflectors okay so you might have heard about this matter right um and and the the general rule is short reflectors you're probably sa or queensland i've been playing a lot of australia and i've had a lot of rounds in victoria with short reflectors and a few rounds in the northern territory with, with short reflectors which like enough rounds in victoria that i'm like you can't you can't eliminate victoria if you see these and you can't eliminate the nt i don't think this is the nt but hmm. i actually really don't know <laughs> armadale should we scan for that okay let's be smart about this soil color i would say fits for SA. Hills, not so much. They're kind of a bit big. Like the hills make me think more Queensland. Also, they've caravans. Like. Wait, is that unique? Maybe. Mm, I'm thinking Queensland, you know. Armadale. Oh, this is one of those rounds that's very tough. I mean, in the beginning I was thinking Tassie, but I, I kind of think we can rule that out. Alright, I'm gonna 
click like between Brisbane and Toowoomba and just hope for the best. Oh wow, okay. It really didn't feel quite that far north. Oh, there's Rolling Stone. <laughs> okay, well we got the state at least, but that's... yeah, 1,100 kilometers. A little rough, um, but I'm glad we could work out that it was Queensland. Okay. So, we have yellow poles. And we have these trident poles as well. And we have very red dirt. So this is all pointing to WA. And we've got the green painted bottom of the pole. So there's a lot here for WA. I'd be very confident sending WA here. I'm just trying to figure out where exactly we want to go. I don't think we're too far away from Perth. Let's have a look at the road angle. Uh, okay. Now in the in the last update of Google Maps, which happened not that long ago, the Liechtenstein update, I guess you could call it, um, this whole area went from green to yellow, as well as um this area north of Adelaide, some bits close to Melbourne. Like, I think I was playing an Australia map at the time that this happened, and I was like, am I crazy? Did this just turn not green? And then I checked, and I'm like, mm. I think that was just an update. So, this, it definitely more accurately reflects what this looks like on, on satellite view. Um, and I think I'd be pretty happy clicking somewhere in this region. Um, I'm just looking for a nice angle. Is this? That's not really it, is it? About this. Close enough. I mean, I don't think it's that, but I don't think we'll be too far away. Much further south. Okay. The South Coast Highway. But yeah, still that region south of Perth. It's kind of hard to pinpoint where you are when you're here. Although the coast, the coast is a bit more distinctive, but this middle bit is a bit difficult sometimes. All right, decent game, seventeen thousand points. Let's do another one. We're on a ten state street, which is technically just a five state street, but you know. Uh, okay, let's 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 talk about what we see here. So, dirt color, white-ish. You've got this this sign here, which is a property marker, um, and you get white ones in South Australia. You also get these flat poles in South Australia, um, like instead of being cylindrical, they're like flat, kind of rectangular poles. Um, it looks pretty flat. Yeah, I think that's a Sturby off in the distance as well. Okay, where do we want to go then? Pioneer Road. Where, what direction are we going? Kind of north-ish. Mm, we could be like along this bit, kind of towards Port Augusta. I wouldn't be surprised if we're on the other side of the bay. Hmm. The angle works better for this area, so I think I'll just put us. Or is the, are these mountains actually? Yeah. Okay. We're not by mountains. Could we further south? If we're not there, I'm probably gonna put us on this side. Uh. Like there somewhere. Oh. Okay. It was just outside of Adelaide. That's fine. Um, it seems kind of dry for that region. Because we were right on the Murray, actually. That's alright. Still not too bad. Okay. Let's have a look here. Alright. We've got a concrete pole with some metal brackets around it. Got some wooden signs. Got a no through road. Got a 
with a lot of eucalypts. Ah. Okay, we'll talk about that in a sec. Uh, let's keep looking. We've got guardrails. Sometimes the end of the guardrails can be quite distinctive and unique to certain states. In this case, they're just pretty generic. Um, that's not of much use to me. Okay. We've got an antenna. I don't really know what that means in Australia. I know in um, the US it's in national parks and I can tell you we are in a national park so maybe it's the same for Victoria, although I'm not 100% sure. All right, let's talk about this sign. This is not a great angle, um, but this is a very useful sign to note. You won't see it all the time, but you will see it often enough if you're playing Australia. Um, and it is unique to Victoria, so it will help you out. Also, these metal brackets on a concrete pole, or even on any pole, but like, see how they kind of go across? You'll get them like not even holding up a sign, just like randomly across a pole. That's also quite Victorian. I see that a lot, just like around my house. <laughs> um, and then it's also very wet looking, very green. So I would put us in maybe the Yarra Ranges somewhere, somewhere like that. I don't think we're west of Melbourne. I think I'd recognize it if we were. We could be, but it just feels a bit too hilly to be west of Melbourne. So I'm going to guess there, and then I'm going to pull up Google and show you this. Oh god. I should know that word. I should know that word. That's the Great Ocean Road. Okay, well, uh, but you can see we were, we were in the, the Great Oakway National Park. Um, oh, that's Maranga, dude. I was there like not that long ago. Alright, okay, that's fine. So, um, Parks Victoria sign. So this is what the Parks Victoria sign looks like. It's green and it's got a red bit and then a white bit. And you'll see this in, well, at the beginning of like national parks in Victoria. The Parks Victoria logo is the, these like, this M shape. Um, and it's very useful because once you see it, you know that you're like, in the Grampians or the Otways or somewhere like that, you can really narrow it down. Um, yeah, it's a very useful sign to know, and it's very specific to Victoria. I don't, you won't see these outside of Victoria, so it's a really useful one to be aware of. I'm annoyed I didn't get. <sighs> Why didn't I go Otways? I didn't go Otways because it was hilly, but there are hills in the Otways. <sighs> okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, we've got a lot going on here. Let's let's discuss what is occurring. So, we've got a field. We've got uh, Sturby poles here. We've got well, it's not a short reflector; it's a circle reflector, so it's technically not useful. I'm not sure if that's a street sign or a property marker, so we'll ignore it, but we've got this very white, grey, kind of gravelly dirt. And then we also have these pine trees. So, with all of that combined, I think we're probably somewhere in this area. I would go, like, somewhere there-ish. Yeah. Wow, um, that is pretty close to the border. I did not know, I guess you do get Sturby Falls all the way to the border. I wonder if they go over. That would interest, be interesting to see. Um, but yeah, that specific area of South Australia is very recognizable once you know what you're looking for. Oh no, okay, this is the kind of thing where I sent Queensland onto the way and vice versa. <laughs> Okay, we've got hills, 
Fairy green cross away. Is this? Huh. Okay. <laughs> There's not a lot here, right? Well, maybe if you if you're better Australia player you might be able to figure this out but the only clues I really have are this dirt which you get everywhere it's like sandy red dirt like that's just Australian dirt you know we've got eucalypts which are also everywhere we've got a hill which is a bit unique but it's these kind of it's not a canal, it's just kind of a drainage ditch, but it's very large and it's in a field and it's very flat except for that one hill to the southwest. And that, these kind of southwest hill. Uh, uh, hmm. I, I don't know. I have to guess north of Shepparton though. So if you zoom in on the map north of Shepparton, you see all these blue lines. And they're just like these kind of, they're not even canals, they're just like wide ditches with water in them. And if, so I'm, that's the, this is the only clue I'm really basing my guess on. Because other than that, this is very generic and I don't really know where we are. So, <laughs> okay, you know what? We take that, we take that. The State Street continues. Yeah, so we were looking at this dotted blue line, which like, you have to know about this to guess there because it doesn't show up on the map unless you're all the way zoomed in. Um, but if you see like a weird large straight canal looking ditch situation north of Shepparton from like Wangaratta to like this kind of area uh might be a good guess uh it's a very weird specific meta but I haven't heard anyone else talk about it um and it's very useful because I definitely was not going Victoria there without that so okay 100 drive safely. Okay. Okay. We got more of those metal brackets, but I'm not convinced this is Victoria yet, so we'll keep looking around. Huh. Okay. I don't remember if these ones are specific to anywhere. I know they're not the New South Wales ones. I'm not looking for a possum goer to be honest, because this could quite easily be Tasmania. Although I do get Tasmania and Eastern Victoria confused a lot, so we could Eastern Victoria is also a very good shot here. Um this pine tree especially, very Victorian. You do get them a lot in Tassie though, so it hard to say. Okay, are we going Vic because of the metal brackets? That seems a little... Hmm. I think we are. I'm not convinced. At all. But... We might be, like... Okay, it was Eastern Victoria. It was very Eastern Victoria. We went down towards Malakuta. Um... But the street continues, sure, we just keep going till it ends. It is only 10, not 15, remember. <laughs> uh, 19,000 points though, not too bad. To be fair, three of the five are in Vic, and that is my home state, so I'm quite familiar with it. And then the other two had, I think, Starby Poles, so not a difficult seed uh, from my perspective. short reflectors but we don't oh wait does that say Townsville 
minus eight times bill. Uh, yeah, I mean, we've got palm trees, we've got a Queensland bus stop, is probably the biggest clue here. We've got a KFC and a Hungry Jacks. Um, the plates are kind of hard to see, but I'm pretty confident that we can honestly maybe 5k this. Uh, big mountain southwest. Okay. Okay. So, at Annandale Central, MacArthur Drive, and if it's Townsville, Big Mountain Southwest, Ian, Annandale, yep. Hungry Jacks, KFC, MacArthur Drive, alright, where are we? In... Let me face north. Run this bit. Very nice. Okay, pretty straightforward around that one. Um, yeah, the Queensland bus stop. If you're not, if you don't know place names, like that Townsville was very kind of blurry. I, if you didn't get that, totally reasonable. But the Queensland bus stop and the palm trees, like it just, it had a, it had a vibe of two LB. Uh, okay, red dot, sheep, round reflectors. Um, is it WA or is it a weird Victoria? We have red car. I try not to learn car matters because like, I feel like it's not really, I mean I understand why, why professional players do it, like that's fine, but for me just casually playing, I feel like the spirit, the spirit of the game <laughs> is to kind of, you know, use clues that they are naturally kind of in the environment of memorizing Google Cars. So, but I do know you get a red car um, in WA. So, that might be my guess. This could be a weird Victoria, like, because um, especially these bollards, like, they're a little suspicious. Oh, wait, is that a yellow pole? That might be a yellow pole. Alright, you've sold me. We'll go uh, somewhere north of Perth. Okay, we were down here, but it was in fact WA. So we take those. Very red dirt, very whitish road, which is interesting. Same car. Hmm. Yeah, seems the way I don't I don't like using the car, because I'm like I, I, it's less fun for me personally. If you want to do it, that's chill. But yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we just go the same area then. Um. Yeah. Lower chittering. Sure. Yeah. You do get crops kind of in this area. I know it looks very deserty on the map, but if you zoom in, it's kind of. There are like little streams and it's a very like gridded like farmland kind of place. Okay. I really struggle in the outback. This is this is my weakest area for sure. Like hmm, this could be anywhere, dude. This could be anywhere. Alright, let's talk through what we're seeing. We're seeing very, very red dirt. We're seeing some trees kind of in the distance, but not a whole lot. It's mostly little shrubs. Hmm, are they essay poles? Ew. <laughs> okay, well, I can tell you where this isn't. This isn't Canberra. <laughs> isn't Tasmania and I don't think it's Victoria that's kind of all the elimination I can do though like if we draw like from it could be anywhere in this region <laughs> um this might be one where we have to use the road angle and just kind of make an educated guess hmm are we on this side of the border 
This doesn't feel like the main road though, does it? I guess it could be, I guess we've just had flooding here, so it's a bit... Yeah... Okay. Okay, I'm extremely not confident. Okay, well the streak ended after uh, 18 minus 5 to 13. That's decent, I think. Um, but it was north of Broken Hill. Yeah, I need to learn my outback. That's my, that's definitely my weakest area for sure. Um, because it just all kind of looks the same to me. Um, like, the NT can be quite distinctive, and then certain parts of WA, but like Queensland, New South Wales, South Australia, I really struggle. Alright. A bunch of eucalyptus trees. That's nothing too crazy. Um, and we got this. Hmm, this is interesting. This kind of dried out lake looking thing. Uh. Okay. I actually am not super confident here. I think it might be South Australia, just like by the one of the salt lakes in like this kind of area up here, maybe Port Augusta. I don't really have any better ideas. There's not a whole lot of clues that I can pick up. So, I don't know what that plant is. Yeah, I think I just sent kind of Port Augusta region. I don't think it's there, but I think it could be kind of here or here, so. Oh, okay. Okay. Oxley Road. Should have known. Nah, that one's tough as well. Um, what were we looking at? Just a dead field. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Tough. Tougher game. Obviously we started with the lovely easy 5k. Coupled down by Perth and then these two in New South Wales. Uh, yeah. Outback is tough, guys. It's tough. But hopefully um, you've learned a couple things from this video. Uh, yeah, I've I've had a lot of fun learning Australia. I I was not very good at it, and now I, I think I'm at least somewhat decent. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, let me know how you've been getting on playing Australia yourself.